So, I'm pretty sure it is up here. Yeah, this definitely looks familiar. I've traveled to a kind of nowhere mall called the Puente Hills Mall. Uh, might be better known to some people as the Twin Pines Mall, later Lone Pine Mall. From a certain well-known movie, uh, personal favorite possibly ever movie of mine. So let's go take a look and see if we can decipher exactly what it is. Do you see it? What's this? What's this? This is it. This is totally it. This is the parking lot where they did the first test. This is incredible. Movie history in the making. Here's the little hill that he for some reason rolled down. And up here, if I can just scramble, is the little hill that he skates down towards the mall. And that's where the Twin Pines, later Lone Pine Mall sign was. Hey, Back to the Future? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I kind of wondered whether there'd be any uh, other people around. And to be quite honest, I thought that given this much time and the fact that the mall's changed so much, and the fact that you know, it's a long time ago. I honestly didn't think, I thought that I'd probably be the only person uh, that was, you know, that into it. But apparently not. That's really surprised me and also made me quite honored uh, <laughs> to be a part of a group of people that are still so obsessed and enamored with that movie that they would come all the way out to this place just to film a mall. Anyway, great, great location. Uh, now I'm gonna go to Ross <laughs> and get a suit for a funeral. Fun times. This place is actually a pretty nice mall. Look at it, it's huge. It was always like this. And then right inside the mall, as a fantastic reminder, they have this thing. <laughs> yeah, nice. Stopped at 1.16 a.m. So this is another beautiful suburb of what I guess is Los Angeles uh, called Whittier and it's here that there is another quite famous uh, movie landmark, uh, a high school called Whittier High School. It's been used as the high school for various uh, motion pictures over time, one of which, keeping to a theme, is uh, Hill Valley High School. So, let's take a look and see if we can recognize it. I think it's just down here. Ah, uh, yeah, this could be it. Yeah. Does this look familiar? That's very well known. I'm just gonna put it right here. Yeah, I doubt it'll be open today, but as you can see, Apart from them hanging a sign on that says 
the name of a different high school. It's pretty much unchanged. What a great location. It should also be noted that uh, not only were very famous films like Back to the Future filmed here, this school is also the alma mater of Richard Nixon and more importantly to me as a personal hero, John Lasseter went here. Whoa, they really cleaned this place up. Looks brand new. I wonder if Richard Nixon would be impressed he went to the same school as John Lasseter. <laughs> I think he'd be telling his friends about it, yeah, probably. He didn't have friends, who are we kidding? We're now hot on the trail of yet another famous uh, movie location. Uh, these houses do look kind of familiar. Uh, and apparently it's just around this corner. Yeah, there it is. Wow, that is impressive. So, if this one looks familiar, it's because, like a lot of the rest that we've seen already today, it is from Back to the Future. In case it's not instantly recognizable, this is uh, Emmett Brown's house in the 50s. Nice place. Of course, the economy was better back then, so you know, it was easier to afford a place like this. And then right down here is the place that he used to do all his experiments, in his little garage there. Paul's Jane Wyman is a first lady! Whoa, wait, Doc! And Jack Benny is secretary of the treasury! Oh. Doc, you gotta listen to me! I got enough practical clothes for one evening! Good night, future boy! No, wait, Doc! Pretty neat, huh? What a cool house. It seems like some kind of um, historical or architectural significance, um, even, you know, completely apart from the fact that it was used in some film that the people here probably don't even care about. Um, but it's great. I mean, look at the, the architecture, it's absolutely stunning. It's kind of a little bit of a Japanese uh, influence. Yeah, I'm well impressed. I'm not going to buy a ticket, but it's impressive. Okay, so I've got another one for you. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite locations. Um, it's one I've been to before. Before I show you the actual location, uh, let me show you the kind of entrance to that location and hopefully it'll make a lot more sense. Does this street entrance look familiar to you guys? It may help to see it from a more elevated aerial shot style angle. This is the placards from the front, which is a dead giveaway. Uh, it's actually the entrance to Lion Estates, where Marty McFly lived in the Back to the Future movies. And what's even more exciting is that literally two streets down from here is his actual house. Let's go see it. And let's see if anyone's home. The power line is a dead giveaway. And... There she is. It's pretty obvious with the power lines in the background. The McFly residence. Uh, when I first came here, I think I thought it was one of the greatest things I have ever seen in real life. Uh, the films meant a lot to me, so seeing this place kind of pretty much unchanged is uh, quite something special and of course the visit wouldn't be quite complete without getting the uh, famous DeLorean crane shot from the movie which looked a little something like this 